Hey, I'm Sasha. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the new Let's Play Growing Together. So I'm going to be putting this Let's Play for eras and I'm thinking this era, I'm going to call it the Black Sheep era. <laughs> Enjoy! Right, Chester, where hopes and dreams begin for young adult sims. Unless your name is Angela Hill, because Angela, she's just been going through it with this school. She just feels like everybody is typecasting her as this weirdo sim. It's been like this all her life, from her childhood to her teen years. Everybody's always been seeing her as the weird girl, and she just feels always so misunderstood. She thought it'd be easier moving away from her hometown, San Sequoia, to Brightchester, and it's been worse. Sims are just judging her. And then she just ended up moving into a dorm where it's just all misunderstood sims. And they call this dorm the random townie dorm. Like, what does that even mean? Can somebody tell what Angela what that means? She doesn't know what that means. <laughs> but <laughs> she's going through it, y'all. And long story short, Angela is over it. She's like, I want to move out of campus. I don't want nobody to make these night remarks. I just want to go to class, leave this area. I don't know. I don't even feel safe in this dorm. And her friend's kind of a little annoyed with it because, you know, she's like, look, we're all together here. We're all going through it together. But Angela's like, nah, nah, I cannot do this anymore, girl. I am leaving. I found a place in the city and um, she's going to be sharing a dorm with someone there in San Mishuno, by the way, so that she could complete her school there. Whatever happens next in her life, she doesn't know. But she's just kind of like at the moment, it's easier to commute uh from a city vibe and then also maybe like transition to online classes this is how she feels and this is how she's going and her roommates are kind of like we support you but they're kind of like sad because she was bringing all the personality and fun to campus and now a part of that is going to be missing you know like when somebody leaves you're just going to miss them so that's kind of just what they're going through but you know she's made her decision and she wants to go and she wants to go and move to san rice you know yeah, I'm gonna miss Brightchester. That's what Angela's gonna say to herself as she leaves and say goodbye to this beautiful city. But, you know, San Mishuno's lit, okay? So, it's not that much. Like, it's an upgrade low-key. You know if you're in Brightchester and you move to San Mishuno, it's a little too lit. So, <laughs> she's enjoying the cultural food. She's like, oh my god, food is so spicy out here. I love it. I love it. It's like two months after uh, her leaving her place. It's currently summer, so she left during the spring. And currently, she just bumps into this cute guy with a dog. And she's like, hey, my name is Angela. Nice to meet you. I think your dog is so cute. He says, oh, hey, nice to meet you, Angela. My name is Norman. And she's like, oh, cool, Norman. Nice to meet you. <laughs> she's just like, they kind of have this like weird spark that's just there. And she's just like, okay, well, I just want to say hi to your dog, but I'm a little scared. He's like, oh, no, Uni's so friendly. She's like, oh, hi, Uni. What a unique name. He's like, yeah, it's unique, right? And, you know, she's just kind of like, wow, like, you know, I am kind of also a unique type of sim. He's like, yeah, I mean, I don't think I see sims like you, but, you know, uh, uh, where are you at? She's like, I'm in the art district. What you trying to find out? <laughs> So they're just being casually fun, flirty a vibe about it. And you know, Norman's really like a chill vibe sim. I feel like he's just kind of always been uh, one way in his life, but like he kind of is fun and chill. And he just kind of sees this like super energetic vibe about Angela. And he's like, wow, talking to her, she's just such a cool sim. This is a great first impression between them, you know? They exchange numbers. Norman's like, wow, like. I did not think I was going to meet a girl. Like, this is the first girl he's ever flirted with. This is the first guy Angela talks to. She never thought guys thought she was cute. She just wanted to say hi to the dog, Uni. I mean, yeah, Norman's cute. It's a plus. But, like, for her, it was just all about Uni. And, you know, with time, you know, summer, they got closer and closer. He'd invite her for movie time. They'd watch horror movies. And he's like, you can stay extra close to me. And she's like, okay. So, yeah, y'all, like, you can see she just loves expressing her makeup through like an artistic form she loves doing like like little stickers on herself um she hasn't fully committed to tattoos yet so this is kind of like just her playing around exploring with her artistic side whilst you know being in biology in school studying living in the city 
So Norman decides that maybe it's time I make this stuff. He's a little nervous. This is his first ever kiss. This is Angela's first ever kiss. And he's telling the dog, Uni, did you see that? We had our first kiss. And then Uni's like, yeah, I saw a girl, leave me alone. <laughs> Uni's tired, y'all. Leave Uni alone. Angela's sharing her excitement with Norman about them having their first kiss. He's just as excited. He's so ready for a future with Angela, whatever that is, you know? It's been a little over a year since they've been dating. He asks her to move in. She's his girlfriend. You know, she was talking to him about how she was having a hard time with biology third year. And he's like, yeah, just move in. Why don't you just stop school, figure out what you want, like take a break from school for now. Just be with me. I love you, Angela. And Angela, she just kind of was like, you know what? I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to pause school, give myself some time to figure it out. She has a man that truly cares about her. And he, you know, Norman, he finished school. So he has a good job. And he's like, look, you could just stay with me for now, babe. You know? You could figure out your next steps, no judgment. Angela, of course, is really happy that she's with a partner that is just so caring and kind and just gentle and sweet. Angela goes back to her apartment in the art district. She says goodbye to her roommate. Her roommate's this chill older lady who's also just trying to figure out life. Angela's trying to tell her nicely that she's gonna move out and yes, it's gonna be sudden. Her roommate, you know, not too happy about it to be honest because it's very last minute she's like where am i gonna pay for the rent now like what are you doing angela you know she thinks that she her roommate's being in a jokey tone but roommate did not like that at all angela packs up she goes back home to her man and now she's like i'm here babe he's like you are here for sure oh my god this is my dream you're my first real partner ever in life she can my first real partner too they take a selfie to remember the moment and now she gets to sleep in his place they get to be together in like a harmonious type of vibe but this is how it's gonna be like for the next two years. Welcome to the Spice District of San Maishuno. I'm just trying to show y'all. It's been two years, time jump. And now Angela has not went back to school yet. She's been in this relationship for three years. It's important to know. She literally has like, I think, about a year and something left for biology to get her degree and she just decided that she doesn't want to do that anymore that she wants to be a sim talk girl that makes content surrounding being a day in the life stay at home girlfriend i know that's like a, such a major change i know and i don't know if you can notice but she's kind of a little different too so we're just gonna go through all of this together right now but yes she's making breakfast for her man i'm gonna call him to eat his food and just let me tell y'all her personality angela's a family oriented sim she's socially awkward she loves the outdoors she is a nurturer isfj which means that she's just very dedicated and warm protector but her popular leisure activities would include cooking gardening painting crafts picnics nature walks and watching movies they're also found supporting their loved ones in their interests and activities. Angela would be happy to have a child. She's indifferent to being in a romantically exclusive relationship. She's naturally domestic, a caregiver, innocent at heart, and has a fear of being cheated on. So Angela is ready for the day. It is an autumn season for now. Yes, Angela has changed her artsy, sort of weirdo girl look into somewhat of a more refined look and yes this whole tiktok niche and just staying at home being around his colleagues you know norman's colleagues and all those people in her life now has changed her whole vibe and yes she is a proud dog mom to this dog and yes she's pink while holding the dog so i've talked to some pet owners and they said this is a thing their pets will like literally just barge into the bathroom while they're using it so 
I just embraced it as Angela's strange quirk and multitasking in The Sims 4 kind of snapping in the strangest way, of course. <laughs> and yeah, Uni and Angela are so close. And you're going to understand that through Angela's daily activities and how she goes about her day living as a stay-at-home girlfriend. Angela definitely has to clean herself up. I'm like, girl, let's get this going. Let's get that routine for the day. You know, her man is at work. And if you don't know, he is a workaholic. And so now I'm like, go ahead and get Uni to eat the food. She's cleaning her man's plate. I'm like, girl, you need to go grab breakfast. You are hungry. So yeah, she's about to grab her meal. She made French toast. If you didn't know, I was reading over the personality while Norman was eating. And you could tell Norman's a little different. Like he just ate the food, walked right out the door after he ate. She makes every single meal for Norman. She makes him food prep when he's going to work, whenever he asks. Sometimes he's just in the mood to go get something from, you know, the areas uh, around his workplace, but sometimes he prefers Angela's cooking. So, of course, in her routine, she has to walk her dog. It's important for her to do that. Today is Sunday, so it's gonna be chill vibes. She's not gonna do a lot of social media work. She likes to sit out in the balcony. So it's just like her and Uni time. You know, Uni's like her baby in a sense. And of course, while she is out there, she wants to check out the sky. She loves the telescope with her whole heart. But I think now it'd be nice for me to tell you a little about Norman since now he's away at work. Norman has the dog lover and jealous trait, kind of has a really heavy protector provider energy about him. He is a very observant sim into exclusive romantic relationship. At the moment, he doesn't want to have a child and he is an ENTJ sim. He loves food with his heart. He's a caregiver and a lover sim. So Angela decides to skip out on the grocery store today and focus on social media. She has roughly 23,000 followers on her way to get 30,000 followers on SimTalk. So, you know, she's just currently replying to some people in the comments. She's been getting a lot of comments recently because someone stitched one of her videos. And if you don't know what a stitch is, it's like when somebody overlays your video and like kind of like reply or something. So she got a stitch recently about somebody saying that, oh girl, I slept with your man. And she's like, what? So when she saw it and the girl actually posted, it was Norman's tattoo. And so she showed Norman and Norman was like, no, it's not me. He's denied this allegation. And he said, it's my brother Enzo because Enzo has the same tattoo as him. And they look very similar. Enzo said it was me. He said that I'm the one with the tattoo. Can y'all stop speculating about this? She gained a following from this as a result. But what could she do? You know, so she's going about her day. She already cooked a meal for her man her man's already home from work honestly angela's just kind of a little annoyed that she has to explain herself and norman knows that she's been going through this and it's not easy angela says look i'm going through this with the tiktok thing this house is a roach home like when are we gonna move out i thought we had goals in life it's like i know we have roaches but like look i'm so close like you know just give me a few more months she's like it's the end of the year and you promised that we were gonna leave this place i can't do this the landlord's not that much of an honest guy he's like look i'm the one who makes money in this house you don't know how it works you just gotta trust me i told you that we're gonna leave soon you better believe it let's just call the landlord and deal with it kind of thing so she's just like oh, oh my god i'm gonna have to call this landlord the landlord always just comes off so understanding oh i'm gonna fix the rat issue i'm gonna fix the roach issue angela is like okay great you know she's trying to come off nice because she's already paranoid about getting another social media scandal like what if she's mean to the landlord and then the landlord stitches one of her videos and says hey girl you know don't trust this angela girl she's mean and nasty this little so-called day in the life chill cute vibes with the dog don't trust her so she's very like somewhat paranoid as of late and obviously her man's not cheating it's Enzo. you know that's going about in town he's a single man he should do what he wants and what could she do like she could just you know deny the allegations show photos that enzo and him look alike dispel the rumors but of course there's gonna be conspiracy theories against her man i mean y'all y'all saw that mouse oh lord it's distracting me <laughs> oh my God. like this place is pretty bad like she needs to get out of here okay almost every night sometimes it feels like they never go to bed at the same time it's either um you know norman working or she's just kind of doing last minute cleanups so finally though he was tired enough to go to sleep 
it's almost 4 a.m. and she's up and of course Udi's like hey don't forget me I want I'm supposed to be in the bathroom with you so she's like oh my god Uni you have to go to sleep baby it's still not morning Angela go back to your room but before I go to her room I just want to tell you all some things it shows that that's her first ever kiss first ever woohoo she finds him attractive she feels hurt by him and she feels neglected because he's a workaholic and you know she just kind of doesn't feel like she fully knows where Norman's head is therefore inspiring Angela Hill to go through her man's phone so yes she saw his phone on the nightstand she grabbed it for herself and now she's like looking through his messages and she's kind of tired y'all can tell but like i'm gonna tell y'all what's the text i'm gonna translate what's on the screen for y'all so basically she found out that he's closed <laughs> in on a home in Sulawani, and she's kind of like oh wait like are we investing in a vacation home first before you know or are we actually moving to sulani like that's so cool and she's like why didn't he tell me like is this gonna be a surprise like is are we going on a vacation to sulani like she's just really like wondering but like she's tired so she's like i have to go back to sleep kind of thing you know so hours pass she cooks breakfast for him norman's at work y'all know her routine time to walk the dog so she's just telling uni like go pee pee where you feel comfortable at and <laughs> She's like, um, by the way, Norman was not suspicious when she looked through the phone, like, thank God. So anyway, right now, she is just doing a live on her TikTok, answering some questions to the audience. You know, they're like, oh, what do you do? What's your favorite product? What's your favorite skincare? A girl in the comments says, do you know that people are calling your boyfriend Tattoo Bay and they're calling his brother Twin Tattoo Bay? And, you know, she's trying to avoid that whole subject. She's like, I have an FAQ that's on my pin post, but let's just go ahead and close that subject. I'm about to cook dinner for my man. Thank you for watching. And y'all, between you and me, we gonna have a five day time jump. Yes. So I finished Monday. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna come back to my girl for Friday. Okay. So it is Harvest Fest Day, and yes, it's also Friday. It's the weekend, and Angela's a little moody if you can't tell, but I'm about to tell y'all very soon. So first, meet Chanel and Shane. <laughs> Chanel and Shane are such a beautiful couple. Chanel is just like that loyal bestie every girl needs, and Shane is just an occult enthusiast. And you know what? Chanel is loyal to that, okay? <laughs> so basically, Norman is not here at the moment. He is at work, but he, you know, he has a family event this weekend with his family, and Angela's gonna be going there anyway. Angela calls Norman, of course, just to check on him. Like, hey, babe, is everything good? Are you on your way? He says, no, I can't. Work got me swamped. She's sad, and, you know, they're listening to her feelings about it. They're like, listen, you know, we have a lot of date nights before. One or two or three, four, whatever he's been missing out lately. You know, he's working really hard. He has that goal to get you that suburban home that y'all keep talking about, you know. And she's like, you're right, besties. Like, I really needed to hear that. Thank you so much. And they're reassuring her. They're making her feel good. And she's asking about Layla Moon, their daughter. She is a toddler sim. She, they're like, oh, Layla these days. She's She's loving the occult stuff like her daddy kind of thing <laughs> so it's really cute it's really fun of course Angela's gonna have to finesse for her little story that she's gonna post you know like the TikTok story insta story every kind of story that she's gonna post hashtag date night but like no photo of her and Norman this time so yes the finesse will be very real okay and yes she's gonna be posting that first thing. but yeah she's gotta go right now it's very late okay so Angel's back home. Of course, Uni's waiting for her at the door. That's her baby. <laughs> of course, Norman's asleep. At this point, like Angela just did a little bit of house cleaning and whatever little prep she wanted to do. So she went to go to sleep. And y'all, it is Saturday, so we're gonna have a harvest fest family meal with Norman's side of the family. Good morning, Norman. I hope work was entertaining enough for you to be missing out with your friends. But anyway. I'm not gonna hold any resentment towards him because that's Angela's job. Norman's getting himself all done and clean. He wants, you know, to see his family. Angela made already a scramble. He's shocked. He's like, wow, she's not really talking to me like that. Like she cooked food, she's cleaning, she's doing everything. 
like she's doing it way faster than before kind of thing you know angela's kind of like a little moody y'all could tell like she's just kind of not here for her man kind of standing her up that's how she feels like she's a bit neglected by him you know and he's kind of like you mad at me do you like what you see babe and she's like of course i do like i'm so attracted to you and he was like let's woohoo so like i feel like for him he's very physical touch and for angela she's very words of affirmation you know she needs to sit here with him say like i love you you know she needs to hear that from him and for him it's like if he feels disconnected he wants to hold her he wants to woohoo he wants stuff like that of course mixed with it acts of service if you notice he's like working hard he's doing stuff like that you know what i'm saying and she's also acts of service she's working hard to keeping the apartment that's really horrible it's upkeep you know so she's also fixing up herself working on her hair this is a mod by subset if i didn't tell you and the cream mod is also by subset yeah okay so now let's just get this makeup done so she's just applying her makeup she is going for this autumn beautiful like smoky like like somewhat glam but like effortless but like she put in effort vibe <laughs> So, um, I noticed that I was like, girl, did you put on your perfume and your deodorant? So, that's also a mud by Sepsid. I'm doing all of that. I want her to feel like she is uh -huh. completely, like, what she views herself as, you know, Harvest Fest ready. You know, they're celebrating it a day late, I believe. So, yeah, she's completely ready. So, she's taking a selfie with her man, obviously. Hashtag Harvest. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at the draper's home if you didn't notice this um is like my east african queen okay this is miss patrice okay she is um norman's mother she's so cute of course norman's father and norman's brother enzo are chatting i told y'all enzo looks exactly like his brother you think that they're twins no uh norman's the older brother enzo's the younger brother i think they have like about a two-year age gap type thing like so there it just happens that the parents gave birth to the same kid twice it happens <laughs> so i'm having mama cook all the meals but i just wanted to show y'all the draper family how they operate yeah. uh and how they work okay so y'all could tell it's somewhat of a similar dynamic between angela and norman mother's doing all the work dad and son are watching sports on the tv Miss Patrice Draper is a goofball, loyal yeah, cat lover, a doer, ESTP, prefers non exclusive romantic relationships, drinkaholic, would love to have a child, alluring lover, and a jester sim. Mr. Leslie Draper, he is a recycled disciple, squeamish, dance machine. He is indifferent to being in a romantic exclusive relationship. He would love to have a child. He's a craftsman, ISTP. He is domestic and a lover, jester sim. And so Draper is jealous, sim, family oriented prefers exclusive romantic relationship he's a good cook he's also like his brother he just loves food okay he's a doer estp would be happy to have a child a caregiver and a lover so he's very similar in traits and just how he goes about life like his brother Ooh, they're here y'all i feel like norman's like oh my god i'm so ready to have mom's food and angela's like yeah of course your mom throws it down of course mom is like to her husband go open the door be nice to angela you know how awkward she is okay <laughs> so y'all if you don't know i'm using the flora yellow save and this is a new crest and yes the family the draper family lives in new crest of course papa's talking to oh god she's being a little awkward y'all know how she is she's just you know socially awkward norman says and so i hear you're doing well with the company and so it's like yeah bro like thanks for hooking a brother up like this job it's just easy for me it's nothing so deep angelo's outside talking to the father but once mom sees them back in the house she's like okay let's all sit at the table and let's start you know talk about what we're so thankful about this year i'm so thankful for y'all but I have been thinking about adopting a child and I don't know what to do or what age, but I have been in contact with an agency. Just want to let y'all know and be mentally prepared that I do want to open my heart. And that's why there's some toys around the house and stuff like that. So, of course, y'all know Sims are just going to stand up and eat or just, I don't know where they want to go. So I accept the autonomy for what it is. I can't control it all the time. What could I do? You know what I'm saying? 
So she just wanted to give everybody an option. So there was beef, there was fish, there was I think even a, like a chickeny option. Like there was just a lot. So she just wanted the, everybody to feel like they ate something, you know. And you know, you know, when Angela's around the family, she gets a little more lovey-dovey. She feels like she feels a love. And they make her feel safe, even though she's a little paranoid. She's just saying, look, everybody's leaving nice comments about our story. Norman says, well, you know, everybody knows that Enzo would be our brothers. And that should stop the speculation, you know. My love, I love you. You don't have to worry about any of that. That's a thing of the past. She says, yeah, yeah. Today was a good day hanging out with you. He said it was great being around you. And here they are slow dancing in the moment. Just, oh, they're so in the moment. Mama Draper is in the background loving this. <laughs> My little boy found it real nice girl. Like she loves Angela so much. I feel like she low-key likes Angela more than her son. I think it's because Mama Draper has no daughters. Having Angela in her life just is kind of like that daughter she always wanted to have. But I also think it reaffirmed her feelings to want to have a girl, you know. So I think that's kind of what's pushing her to adopt a child. The family's dancing, being all cute. It melts my heart. And if I don't know if you might like recognize, but the father has a dancer trait and the mom's in the career for dancing. So I do think that's kind of what brought them together. Aww, I told you. Mama Patrice loves her some Angela. And Angela's like, I think we're gonna move out very soon. You know, it is towards the end of the year. She's like, yeah, I know. If he don't take you out of this house, you move in with me. You my baby, you know? And she's like, I love you, Mama Patrice. You're such a sweetheart. It's like, yeah, no, those cockroaches, they be scary, okay? <laughs> She's like, yeah, no, they scare me too. So the dad's like, yeah, when are you going to move out? You can't let little Angela be staying in that home anymore, okay? So he's feeling pressure from his parents and Angela. And it's time to go back home, of course. And y'all know, this area speaks to Angela, okay? She loves the telescope. This reminds her of her, her treehouse. Like back home, she used to play with the treehouse, and now she kind of has that balcony area that's somewhat of a treehouse yeah. vibe for her, you know? Mm -hmm. Norman is like, babe, we gotta go to sleep. You've been here for hours. <laughs> so they go to sleep, y'all, and it's about the next day right now. Norman gives her Our a little family. kiss. I thought that was so Gosh, cute. Anyway, place. Angela's saying, it's or Sunday. Oh, I love you so much, you Uni. Like You're my baby, fun. Uni. You know that, right? I know they're in the bathroom together. We gotta get used to it. This is their little funny quirk. <laughs> so, of course, she's gonna have to take care of herself. It is the morning. She's doing her hair. You know, the usual routine. Y'all know Angela's routine, okay? <laughs> so, Enzo is using the bathroom. I noticed that Enzo is more comfortable using the bathroom. For her, she just doesn't mind applying her creams, but, like, she don't really like doing number one or two Axel around him, you know? But she got a call from her With parents, Bruce. and they're like, Lily, oh, hun, how was the Har Harvest Fest Hannah. with the family? She's like, it was good, it was good. Mom Thanks for checking up on me. How, sis? You know, she's so busy these days. Well, she just doesn't answer frenzy. my calls. Well, and they're like, yeah, you know, she's going up in her career, you know? She's been too busy for us, even. So she's talking to her younger siblings too. She has a teen Fanboy brother Barobi. and a child sim sister. So she's just also checking up on them, asking how school, are they doing their homework? Are they listening to mom and dad? And they're, they basically the kids are telling her, grandma and grandpa Fancy stopped by. Oh my God, it was so fun. I wish you came by too. She's like, oh, I missed out. Oh my God, I gotta visit y'all soon kind of thing. She hasn't been home by the way in the last two years. She keeps telling them I'm gonna come by and they don't really have an incentive to visit her too but hopefully that changes very soon so it's sunday she did some grocery shopping right and then now she's ready to go visit her best friend's apartment and she brought uni with her her best friend this is her dog and the dog's name is sweetie the dog's kind of new to the family i'll be honest with y'all and you know they're kind of asking her like can you bring uni sometimes just so that the dog could be like there's other species of me out here kind of thing you know <laughs> <laughs> so obviously like she comes to the house and like she just catches chanel and shane just being so lovey-dovey it reminds her of just yesterday how she was with her man she sees the daughter layla moon she gives layla moon a candy this is by a mod by subset if you didn't know and you know chanel's like hey, like, hey girl <laughs> how was that visit with the family and she's like it was good going out to newcrest it just i don't know what it did for my relationship i just feel like we're so lovey-dovey and she's like see we're overthinking things like you and our 
Carmen are just such a cute couple. And I just love that they're always so reassuring to her. And, you know, obviously, I'm sure they're like, where's Norman? But, you know, Norman's working. Oh, selfie with bestie. <laughs> so she's just telling her, hey, girl, like, um, I did look through his phone. And <laughs> she's just being honest. She's like, well, hey, what would you do that for? So she's just, always, you know, she's like, I was a little, like, you're feel, feeling neglected. She's like, what you find on the phone? Because, you know, it's never good to look through someone's phone. It's like you're trying to ask to look for something bad. <laughs> So Angela's like, I do not want to hear that. I'm rebuking that kind of negative energy, you know? She's like, anyway, girl, I got to go home. So she leaves home and goes back home. So Chanel kind of feels guilty, like maybe I shouldn't have said that to my friend. And she's kind of like a little like sad. They had an argument, by the way, when she came back home as a result of her talking to Chanel. Angela feels like she wants more date nights. And he's kind of like, oh, is it, it feels like, you know, I've just been so busy. But, you know, she is right. I should put more time into that. And, of course, after the argument, Norman's feeling so guilty. And he has to break the news to her. I think they're trying to talk. You know, Norman's feeling guilty. He's like, I don't want to end it the day us being mad at each other or being weird. Also, Norman has to get something off his chest. He says to her, yeah, I'm going to Solani. She's like, you're taking me with you, right? It's like, where'd you get that idea? I'm not going with you to Solani. She feels so embarrassed. Oh my God, like, like y'all, so you see her face. She feels so embarrassed. She's like, oh, I thought it was like a couples thing. People, I thought couples go like vacation in Solani. He's like, yeah, but no, no, no. This is just purely business. And I just wanted to tell you, we had an argument. And I don't want you to feel any sort of way, you know? And so she says, yeah, I could understand that. Not the neighbor eavesdropping. Anyway, so she's really stressed out and annoyed with him. She's like, you know what? Let me just play this video game. I'm not in the mood. Bye, bye you know, Norman. If you want to go, you could go. It's not that, like, she's mad about being left alone. It's just that, you know, he even tried to brush it off. He was like, oh, like, don't you have that social media, like, sponsorship to do? And, you know, she's like, yeah, but, you know, she knows he's closing in on a home. And she read his text. And he's not telling her nothing. And, of course, y'all know Norman. He was like, let's go to bed of course <laughs> so he's like look we gotta woohoo before saying goodbye for this trip and of course the landlord knocks on the door and says hey guys i want to make sure about the roach and mouse situation lies you have not done nothing sir you are the worst landlord of all time but yeah it's monday angela's feeling like you know what let me just go have a small jog around this neighborhood so she's just gonna have a nice little jog. I love the city in autumn. It's so beautiful, you know? She's feeling so grateful that she lives in this beautiful city of San Maishuno. But, you know, she's just kind of thinking, well, it would have been nice to escape the cold weather and go to Sulani. So she puts a coin in here and she's like, you know what? Let me put two coins in here. I need good luck, okay? Because I just feel like lately it's been a little weird with me and my man, you know? so yeah he is having breakfast he saw that she didn't even make breakfast today that he just had to grab something from the fridge but of course look at her she just comes back home first thing she does is grab his plate starts cleaning like sis <laughs> and her man's doing some you know work emails and stuff like that and he's just replying to stuff he told her girl you don't have to make me lunch for work today uh, you don't even have to make dinner today she's like okay so he's like i'm not gonna be coming back home like i'm taking my luggage and me we're going to work for a bit then i'm gonna go check in and fly to sulani so yeah that's literally like how he left y'all <laughs> i could not believe him look at my girl working on her housewife aspiration Anyway, she's making herself breakfast right now. She's like, oh, Lord, I got to make myself some food by myself. I love making food with me and Norman and mine. I hate when he has to go out of town to travel. He doesn't go out of town like often. I feel like he goes once per season. Now it just feels like it's the second time this season, you know? But what could she do? She's just going to have to be okay with that, you know? He's making that money and going out of town is more money to make. So she's doing her little sponsorship stuff you know uh, editing that video getting it ready to upload to her tiktok she saw and then her neighbor knocks on the door she's just like hey girl i haven't talked to you in a minute and you know angela's familiar with all the neighbors it's enzo who don't really know these sims even though he's the one that's the extrovert her little introvert self she knows everybody <laughs> 
When her neighbor asked her how is Norman, she just like after that she was like good. But when she went home, she just started crying. Like she was under her bed for hours, y'all, like crying, crying her eyes out because what is going on with Norman? Like why is he just I don't know? Why is he not the guy that I fell in love with? Why do I always have to tell him something? Like why do I, why doesn't he tell me something? So there's just a miscommunication of their love languages. So she just ends up going to Chanel and you know, she's like, Chanel, I understand what you were saying. It was wrong for me to look through his things. Now he's in Sulani and he's not taking me. But what do you think if like I go to Sulani? Like, what do you think of that? Do you think I should go? She's like, of course. Surprise him. Tell him you kind of knew. Apologize. She's like, don't I look like a stalker? And she's like, maybe, but you know what? That's your man and I'm sure he's going to love you for your weird stuff. Trust me, I've done some crazy stuff with Shane too before we like moved in and had a baby. You know? I feel like that's what she's whispering to her. Of course, you know, Angel's crying. She's leaving Uni behind with Chanel, so she's gonna miss Uni. So, you know, Chanel's telling Alayla Moon, oh, Uni's staying with us. So, Auntie Angela is just crying because she's gonna miss Uni so much. And, and Layla Moon's like, oh, oh my god, I love Uni. I'm so sorry, Angela. Auntie Angela, you know, kind of thing. And Auntie Angela's like, yeah, I'm gonna miss my baby Uni so much. Oh, you know? But yeah, y'all, let's say goodbye to Uni. Oh, bye-bye, Uni. It's Tuesday. My girl is at the airport. She has checked in. She's asking the person, like, okay, so is there any last-minute tickets to Sulani? And the clerk at Air Sulani said, yes, there is. There is two more seats at the next flight. And my girl was willing to sit 10 hours in the airport waiting for a flight. Like, she oh, wants to get out of here yes. as fast as possible. Flat I don't know why she went the olden day method. Filling. She could have just bought a ticket online. But, you know, Angela's Good desperate. Day. Desperate calls for desperate measures, right? So, she's going to enjoy this nice tea. It's a chilly day out here. And, yes, I know she's sad. Because, again, she's just confused. And she just wants you know to escape and have fun like norman it is time to board the plane angela's about to step out and go to sulani so yeah y'all she is in sulani now uh, oh. and y'all angela is furious oh, no. she's seeing her man flirt with another sim like how dare you norman uh-uh you wrong, Norman. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. Maybe it's just being friendly. Like, uh. I guess not. I guess the F not. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not ending the episode like that. <laughs> Y'all. All right. We got to talk in the comments. I'm so sorry. I left out like that. What the hell is going on with my Sims? Uh, okay, y'all. Let's talk in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts like wow norman is trifling i guess we're gonna have to find out in the next episode all the answers because i need it to make sense like make it make sense yeah oh angel is gonna be doing her little investigation y'all yep she gonna be in sulani but i don't think she's gonna be in that house i don't know we'll see I want to shout out my sister who helped me create the idea of this series. She and I were brainstorming and she just told me, hey girl, why not try to add like social media elements like TikTok? That's really in. I just want to shout you out. Sis, I love you so much. Thank you so much. And y'all, she does play The Sims, but not as often, but hopefully she gets back into it soon. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you so much, little sis. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Sasha, and I wish you a lovely, 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 <laughs> a lovely, lovely day. Take care.